ride, she can ride. She can ride. Baby needs some time, she got time. She got time. Got your bank account in a queue. She can make a count, how about you? How are you? Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Jaybrook's art. We're here for painting number 11th for the 11th or the 11th of September. And as you can clearly see with your two beautiful eyes, I've done Tarzan. Tarzan with a twist, ooh. I did Tarzan with a bong. And I saw this picture and, you know, Tarzan does look like a hippie. He's, he lives, lives on the trees. Yeah, I live on the tree, dude. Like, totally. And it looks like he's surfing the trees and it looks like a surfer vibe, so I did him with a bong. And guys, I do um, a lot of these paintings with a bong because if I just add a little bong in it, it's more likely to sell because there's so many, I don't know, st stoners that invest in art. I don't really smoke weed myself, but don't mind painting it. So thank you to all our patrons. You guys um, show a lot of support for the channel and yeah, I like interacting with you guys on there. If you want to be become a patron of mine, uh, www.patreon.com slash jbrooks. And um, also if you want to buy prints of this painting, uh, alanjbrooks.com. And if you want to buy this actual painting, you can just hit me up. Let's get into the video in three, two, one. Oh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so this is the 11th of September, the day after my big night of, um, wait, was it the day after? It was. The day after my big night of getting fucked up. Um, <clears throat> so, this was a hungover painting, hangover painting, and um, yeah, that's the worst to paint when you when you're hungover because ugh, you're just fucked. Um, so this painting, not gonna lie, did take me a couple of days because after I drew the towers in, I was just unmotivated um, to do it because I had no energy. <sighs> but I made sure I knocked it out, the, just the outline, do the drawing in the outline of the Tarzan. So that's commitment, right? Anyway, I'm doing the hair. The hair um, wasn't exactly wasn't exactly how it was in the reference. Uh, just made it up a bit and yeah. Also did his face a bit bigger compared to his body. Now I could uh, lie to you and say that was intentional, but it was unintentional and guys, I fucked up. Yeah, there I said it. I, f I messed up, I fucked up, I'm sorry. I disappointed you all, God. Don't leave. If you're disappointed, please don't leave. Like, like my father. He was disappointed and he left. Not in my personality, because I was three. He was just, he saw me and Luke and he was like, fuck this shit, I'm out. He got a two for one deal with twins, you know? Plan to have one baby and, you know, surprise, there's another one. Guys, I'm just joking around. I don't really care. Fuck you, Dad. Why'd you have to leave? <laughs> anyway, back to the painting. Anyway, so doing a soft background like always. Not high, not outlining any part of the background, even the tree, even though it is kind of in the foreground. Um, because that's what's good about Disney. Sees my phone going off. That's what's good about Disney with the soft backgrounds. I like it, I like it, I like it. Um, yeah, so the tree, I wasn't getting it exactly like the reference photo. I was just doing little tricks um, that I've learnt in the past and yeah, making it my own kind of style tree. Um, yeah, so that's a good thing is once you've been painting a lot, you don't have to go to the back to the re, uh, reference photo all the time you can do your own thing and it's more fast and efficient and if it looks good it looks good 
and some contrast in there, highlights. It's very important, the background to add uh, contrast and highlights. Um, yeah, just enhances your painting that by that much more. For the tree, I'm blocking out the color in the back, like the darker color. And then on top of that is when I add all the highlights or the leaves. Um, yeah, there's no way when you do trees that you paint individual leaves. You get an old brush that's like kind of hard. It's fucked up and hard and all messed up and dab it into the paint and then dab it onto the canvas to give that um, leafy effect. And yeah, it just looks much more realistic. I'm not trying to make this look super realistic, but you know, it gives it the impression that it's a whole bunch of leaves. Once again, for this part, blocking out the color and then adding on top of it layer by layer, going from dark to light, and then go over it in even more lighter green. And then <clears throat> I didn't put highlights on that, no. Now I'm doing some roots. Yeah, the background was pretty fun to do. I like doing this kind of stuff, so. What am I watching there? I can't remember what I was watching there. Anyway, back to the painting. Sorry, I get distracted, guys. No, serious, I'm seriously wondering what the hell I'm watching. Oh, I was watching The Martian. The Martian, yeah, with Robbie Williams. RIP. And anyway, now I'm doing Tarzan. Base color of the skin tone. <coughs> There's my mom showing me her work. She uh, always does that, comes in, doesn't realize the camera's right there. <laughs> It's, oh, it always reminds you of The Sims. Doing some highlights to get that muscle tone, give some separation in the arms, highlights on the face. Uh, for, the, for this, I didn't use the highlights of, from the reference picture, I did my own, and I did my own undertones. Um, yeah, just much more easier and faster to the work that way, which um, allowing yourself to use your own judgment for the highlights and undertones. Guys, I, this is a, the fourth video I've recorded in a row. My voice hurts, this lights on me, I feel like I'm in a dream. Like I feel, I, I forget I'm even doing a video. Like, where am I? This massive light just hit my face. Anyway, guys, fuck, my voice is hurting. <clears throat> ah. Now doing the good old bong, billabong. I fucked up the hose, the hose doesn't look natural, but it's all right. Like I said, these cartoons are fun and you know, they don't have to be perfect. They're just fun paintings I can smash out in a day. Now doing the lines. Really focusing on getting the line work um, neat, not chunky, not uh, wobbly. Yeah, so guys, the line work probably takes like, um, I'd say half an hour if you really want to focus and get it as perfect as possible. So don't rush it. It will change your whole painting and make it look that much better. Never rush it. Rotate the canvas so I can get smooth, smooth lines. Not trying to force the lines in that awkward position. Normally the lines come out much straighter when you're doing it uh, vertically as opposed to horizontally. Anyway guys, that's the painting done. So that was indeed painting number 11. Hope you guys liked it. If you guys have any questions or anything, if you want to leave um, leave some recommendations for a cartoon I can do next, and be my guest. This video will probably get only like four comments anyway, so, and, and two of them are normally from bots, like spamming shit, so yeah, leave a comment if you like. Thank you guys for watching, I'm out.